Another useful column to add is an index column. So for example, we've got this data, you can see it's an absolute mess, and eventually we're going to need to get this data and do something with it. This is going to involve a lot of cleaning up, deleting, perhaps a bit of sorting, but it's very important that this order is maintained. We want the order to stay the same. Easiest way to do that, get it into Power Query. Once it's in here, we know there's going to be a lot of work done on this. But just to make sure we remember what the order is, if we go to Add Column, you'll see there's an item here called Index Column, and there are two options, or three options. Index starting from 0, from 1, or Custom Index, where you can specify the numbers. So we're going to start from 1, and you'll see all it does is add an index, and it just goes from 1 to whatever number. The benefit of this then is that as I work through and delete rows, this number order will always it'll always be possible for me to sort on this index and get back to as close to the order, the original order as we previously had. So this index can be very useful for exactly that.